Hey guys, it's Chef Rochelle here and welcome to my YouTube channel where good food changes the mood. I know you guys have been waiting on my YouTube channel and it is finally here. So let's go ahead and get into what I'm going to prepare today, which is a salmon, stewed salmon, I'm sorry, stewed salmon with a roasted garlic butter rice. I've already um, started sprinkling, I'm um, seasoning my salmon with a sea salt blend, which has garlic, sea salt, crushed red peppers, which is my favorite. I put it on everything and some other onion powder and just some other things. I'm gonna also put um, a blackened season on it and this is by Kinder's. I love this brand as well. I use a lot of it um, in my other dishes and it helps with the blackening. So I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle some on here. I have my salmon season and my oven preheated to 400. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the salmon in there for like 15 to 20 minutes. Got the timer on. Okay guys, so get into this creative way that I make my stew chicken, stew fish. Um, I like to build my gravy. So I'm going to use a couple of items and I'll let you guys know where you can purchase them at or where you can find them at. However, let's get into this sauce. Okay, so I'm going to add a little olive oil to the pan. And then also I'm going to take my peppers, which is red, yellow, orange peppers. You can use bell peppers. You can use actually whatever that you like, but these are the ingredients that I chose to use today. And so I'm going to take my scallions. Um, I have garlic here, some thyme, and I think uh, thyme, garlic, scallions. I think that's about it <laughs> and so I'm going to add that to the pan with my peppers as well now I don't want them to cook too fast so I just have it on medium heat right now I think I have it on six um so now I'm going to add my browning sauce now if you don't know anything about this browning sauce it can locate it's located on the international owl and it's used for um, a lot of Caribbean dishes like oxtails and brown stew chicken you can create gravies with it you can basically kind of do whatever that you like with them but I'm going to show you guys how I created my stew um, gravy for my salmon okay so I'm just going to just saturate the let the the browning sauce saturate over the vegetables and I'm going to turn the heat up pretty high now so that it can start cooking okay so now I'm going to add about two tablespoons of butter and you just want to make sure that your vegetables are, co are coated perfectly with this as you see just give it a good stir as you can see it has melted down and I'm just going to let this just cook down for a couple of minutes before I move on to the very next step and um, as you can see, I have turned the heat up on it a little bit. So um, as I go, as I grab my next sauce, which is my favorite, it's one of my meat, fish and meat sauce. You can also find this on the international aisle in your major grocery store. So you just want to add it and coat it over the vegetables and use much as you like because we're going to add some water and some other things like that. So it'll be great. So we're going to go ahead and just add some tomatoes to the pan. And that's going to help with the sauce as well once it cooks down. The perfect stew. Okay, so you're just going to go ahead and give that another stir as well. And as you can see, it's starting to coat the vegetables. Um, and so now we're going to move on to starting to build our gravy, okay? Um, I'm going to put some thyme in here, um, just some other vegetables, some onions. You can use say a savory blend, you can use bay leaves or anything like that. Um, but I'm going to use thyme for today, okay? I'm going to turn the heat down before we start making our gravy. Now, if you have your grandma, your mama, and I taught you how to make gravy, you know you start off with water and flour, right? Okay, so I'm going to add my flour to the bowl. And you want to make sure that you are whisking your flour very well. You don't want any clumps in the pan, I mean in your um, in your gravy. So you can take a whisk or you can use a fork and just make sure that you um, get all the lumps out of there. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and add um, some of the browning sauce to the water just to make sure that, you know, that our, that our, um, our stew is looking like stew, okay, instead of some light gravy. So as you can see, I've, I, I've added the brown, the browning sauce to it. I'm gonna give it a good swiss and I'm gonna just pour it in um, the pan. Now let me grab my, uh, my wooden spoon. As you can see, there's still some clumps there, but once I grab the wooden spoon or my wooden fork, it'll, uh, you know, break up. 
as well. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more water to it. But I'm gonna start adding some seasoning to it um, and then we'll move back to work on the gravy later, okay? So I'm gonna add some jerk seasoning, some garlic powder. I'm gonna add um, some kosher salt, some basil. And um, you also want it when you're cooking these type of sauces, especially when they are uh, tomato based, you definitely want to make sure that you have just some sugar to just to, you know, just to balance the flavors out. So the last thing I added was sugar, guys. So just going to give it a good little stir. So as you can see, the um, the gravy, I want to actually want to go in and make the gravy a little bit more thicker. So I just made another uh, little roux, add a little bit more sugar to it, to, just to give it its balance. I'm just going to add the rest of the tomatoes in there as well. And you cannot forget your crushed red peppers, okay? That's going to help with a little spice. You always want to keep it a little spicy, you know, it's nothing wrong with that. And as you can see, I'm using the last thing that I'm adding in here is a little accent because I know that, you know, I don't need to add any more seasoning or salt, but the accent is just going to wake up the flavor. And again, you can find that on your um, spice aisle. So I'm just going to give it a little taste. And you know what, guys? I think it needs a little bit more of uh, something, okay? So when you're making this sauce, just make sure that you are seasoning to taste to your liking. And to your liking. I'm going to taste it again. And you know, the flavors are getting there. I had to turn the heat up on a little bit because I really want the, the gravy to have like a nice um, consistency to it, a nice texture. And so, so now I'm gonna start the roasted garlic rice. And what I like to do with my rice is roast it first with garlic, butter, and um, olive oil. And once it toasts for maybe about 10 to 15, not 10 to 15 minutes, maybe about 10 minutes, I'm gonna pour some water over it and then let it cook down. So let's get into that. Okay guys, so I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of butter. And my pan was already heated, so you know, the, the butter's gonna go ahead and melt down. And then now I'm gonna add um, some scallions, garlic, um, have some peppers. Um, actually, those are onions scallions, um, garlic, and thyme. So I'm gonna let that roast down in the pan with the butter. And as you can see guys, it's not perfect. So if they're not chopped up, if they're sliced, just go ahead and just make it do what it do. It is perfectly fine. Now I had to go back and check on my sauce guys. I had to add just a little bit more <laughs> flour to it, okay? I just want it to just be a little thick. I know y'all think I be over here fancy cooking, and I do believe that I am a fancy cooker, but when I'm cooking for myself, I just like to get in and out, like I told you guys before, so, you know, everything may not always be perfect, and it's not. Not in Rochelle's Creative Dishes Kitchen, where good food changes the mood. So as you can see, our vegetables have started cooking in the butter. And you want to keep it on high because when you put the rice in there, you want to make sure that it gets a good roasting off the back. Okay, guys. So I want to give one little one little tip. Make sure that you use parboiled rice with this recipe. Um, I do not recommend jasmine rice because, yeah, it's just a whole different texture. Okay, so just use parboiled rice. And as you can see, the rice has been coated and you can use maybe about a cup. I would think that that rampkin is rampkin is about a cup of um, rice. So you want to turn, as you can see, the, the heat is up on it. And so you just want to just let it toast. Let it toast for at least about five to 10 minutes until you start seeing the rice change colors, okay? And so now I'm going to add some thyme to it just to make sure that the flavors, as it rolls, the flavors of the rice is going to, the aroma of the rice is going to fill the kitchen, okay? Let's see. Yep. All right. Okay, guys, so I'm going to turn the heat down um, a little bit on the rice, and I'm going to add some water to it. Now, you can use chicken stock. Um, you can use chicken broth or water. I chose to use water on this um, thing. So as you can see, you know that you can tell that the rice is just roasted perfectly. And so you want to just give it a good stir. So 
okay. It's okay, baby. It's all right. Calm down. Calm down. Yes, calm down. It's okay. So we want to go ahead and just give this a good little stir and then we're just going to put the lid on it. I almost forgot about that salmon, but it's looking perfect. So I'm going to actually, I'm going to taste my sauce again before I bring the salmon out because it's going straight in this sauce, okay? But I think the consistency is good. Now I'm going to go back and taste the sauce. Oh, that tastes good. Okay, so I have taken the salmon out. Look at the salmon, guys. I had it on um, broth for just a few minutes because you just want to make sure that it gets a nice little sear on the top. Boop, boop, boop. So let me taste it. Listen, you have to taste it. Taste and go. All right, guys, so we're gonna check on our rice. As you can see, it hasn't, it's not done yet. I turned the temperature up on it just a little minute, a little bit more. I think we need about maybe five to 10 minutes on the rice. In the meantime, we're gonna saturate this sauce with the, on this salmon, okay? Get into that. Make sure you bathe that salmon in this sauce, okay? Because we really took our time on this today. I hope you guys were keeping up with me, okay? So just keep putting the vegetables on it. Doesn't that look amazing, y'all? The texture is perfect. The gravy is right. I'm so excited to eat this. I am the test tasting queen, okay? Like I wish I'd have somebody here to taste, to taste this, but I will do the honors. So let's see. Okay. Okay guys, I think that we are almost there. Just got to put a little bit more water in this rice. As you can see, if you had any, like I said, any chicken stock or chicken broth, you can add that as well. But it's definitely getting there. And the aroma on this rice is smelling absolutely mouthwatering, okay? So I turned the temperature up just a little bit more. You just wanna just keep checking on this rice because even though we roasted it, it did cut down the cooking time with the rice. So just keep, just keep watching it. So now this is a quick little hack right here, y'all. This better than bouillon. Now you can add water to this. I actually like to just put mine on top of the rice and just stir it in like that. And it's definitely gonna awaken the flavor of the garlic and just everything that's going on in that, okay? And you can use the roasted chicken one. They have just a regular chicken one. You have to try it out. It is so delicious. So you just wanna make sure that the rice is spread it out. And just I'm gonna put the top back on and just finish it off with some scallions, thyme. Um, doesn't that look amazing, y'all? Check that out. The perfect roasted garlic rice. All right, so we're gonna go and start plating, guys. So when you're plating, you know, you want to make sure that you have a nice, you know, a nice bowl or a nice plate to make sure that you can put all the items or the food on the plate. So I'm just going to just plate this up real nice here. Look at that. Just look how vibrant that looks. Come on now, get into that. I'm so excited for you guys to make this recipe. Now, make sure you drizzle. We, look, we took time with that sauce, so make sure that you make sure you drizzle all of it on there. Get into that. All right, so I'm going to do, I'm going to take be the, the first honors and taste this with the rice. Perfect. Everything is just, everything is just so good. 